What's up, Homestead homies? You're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. We're the Tat family from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, hey guys, you caught me. I am getting some greens today out of the garden, a mixture of just some lettuce and some arugula. And um, I'm making a grilled vegetable salad that is just gonna taste yummy, yummy. So I want you guys to come along with me. Um, garden's looking really good, getting a lot of greens. I, I grow tons of just all the different lettuces. So I have lots of different greens. Um, you know, like the mescaline mix and the arugula and just all the different types of lettuces um, because I use so much of it. So I'm going to show you one other little thing that I do. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I want you guys to come along, come over here with me. All right, what I did was, is I planted these very, very early. I have a bunch of some arugula and some mustard greens here. A lot of my different greens, collards and things like that. And um, what I've done is I couldn't keep up with eating them all, but I love the flowers, love the flowers. So what I'll do is I like to cut and I, I cut these and they're so good to eat. They have a, just a great, great taste to them. Um, and I put them in my salads and they're great for the bees the bees love them i leave them out and then what i'll do is i'll go ahead and compost these and we're going to plant something else in the garden you know in the next week or so but i always like to let these you know with if i have extra space these i put them in really early and we had a great spring and they grew great and i just love them and they're great to put on our salads and they make them look really good it is i'm going to get some oregano okay i'm going to chop it up and put it in the salad too and then we will go in and enjoy. And so now the last thing I'm going to put in here is some cilantro because they are, it's the best heavy metal detoxifier. I love cilantro and I always use it in what we're making. So let's get cooking. I have a great lunch plan for all of us. And I got my basket full of goodies, thanks to Deb, one of our wonderful friends and subscribers who sent this. It's handmade, so thank you. It's beautiful and it's coming in handy. So let's go inside and I'll show you what we're making. Okay, so now I brought my greens in. I'm just gonna get my vegetables ready for grilling. Um, and I'm just gonna use an assortment, some zucchini, some red sweet red peppers, eggplant, some onions, and some carrots. You can use whatever you want to grill. I mean, if you don't have eggplant and you don't have carrots, then just pick what you can grill. I mean, grilled vegetables taste great and it doesn't take long to do. So I'm gonna clean them real quick with this multi-purpose cleaner. And if you guys missed it, I just did a video on this and I use this cleaner for everything to clean with, with my vegetables and we will link that above. So check that out. And all I do, and I, I mean, I love it, I just get it. So if I had an apple or whatever, you know, I'm just gonna spray it, you know, like this. I'm just gonna kind of wipe it off and then I'm gonna rinse it off. All right, and I'm gonna clean all my vegetables like that. Just put a little spray on it, wipe them off. And if I had a whole lot of them, I might put them in some water, you know, with the, um, just with some vinegar and water. But when it's like a pepper and I'm just normally gonna eat one, I just kind of rinse them off like this. Okay, so now I have all my vegetables cleaned and what I did was, is I got some coconut oil and I just covered all of them with it and then I put some salt and pepper on them. And I just, actually it was kind of warm today, I just stuck my coconut oil outside and it melted and it worked out good that way. So and I just brushed them like that. And then put salt and pepper on them. Okay, so I'm gonna take them out to the outside kitchen and we'll grill them, let's go. Okay, so now I love working out here in the outside kitchen. It's about 80 degrees today, I'm just gonna place my peppers on whole, just like that. Put my carrots on whole. I did some whole and I did some, um, I just cut in half. I'm just gonna lay them all over and just grill them. I'm gonna put the eggplant on the top one, I think so. Now, same thing with your zucchini. You guys can put them whole if you want or you can um, go ahead and grill them like I have them here. And I'm just gonna grill these a few minutes. 
because I don't want to cook cook them till they're really, really soft. I want to make sure they're still a little crunch in the middle and they're soft on the outside. Now my zucchini, I think I'm going to put them on the top. All right, while my veggies are out grilling, i got to hurry up. I'm going to make a homemade um, yogurt dressing. So all I did was is I just crushed up uh, about three cloves of garlic, and then I'm going to just squeeze a whole lemon in there and put some dill in it and some salt and pepper and some extra virgin olive oil. And then um, whip that up, and then that's going to be my dressing for everything. So here's the dill. Put a little bit of dill in there, and that's the trick when you do the um, kind of like a ranchy type dressing. I'm a bad measure. I don't measure. I think I might have put it looks like about a cup of yogurt or so. You can save this for another day. So just put it in the refrigerator and it'll last a while. So you might want to do. I'm so bad, you guys. Uh, let's say about, you know, half a cup or so. And then um, I'm going to mix it up. I'll whip it up good. I'll get my whisk. So then I'm going to whisk it all up. And I think I need a little salt and pepper. Put a little pepper. A lot of pepper. <laughs> and a little salt. And then I'm going to whip it up. And this will be, and this works really good with Greek yogurt. Just make sure you're getting a good, you know, grass fed yogurt or organic type yogurt, plain. And then usually what I do is I will taste it to see if it needs something. And let's see. Oh, it's perfect. It's a work of art. All right, so my masterpiece is complete. I can't wait to eat this. I always make lots of extra because then I can eat it the next day or two. It's always great to eat. It tastes good when it's cold on my salad or for a side dish. The flowers on top make it look beautiful. It just is just great. And then I'm just going to put, put the um, dressing that I made on top of it. Um, this can be totally uh, a total vegan food. Um, you can use, I put some feta cheese on top of it. Um, if you do want to add some meat to it, you could cut up some chicken or, um, fish or, you know, whatever you guys find, think it's good for it. But, um, we're going to go ahead and eat this and I can't wait because this is one of my favorite meals. And especially now in the garden, you know, everything is going to start popping and cracking and you're going to need to use these things. So, you know, your peppers, you're getting lots of peppers and the zucchinis. And the good thing with the zucchinis, get them when they're little because they grill really well when they're little. An eggplant, things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread this in here. And then Doug and I are going to have a fantastic, healthy meal that will fill us up and make us feel good and have lots of energy. All right, so that's it for this recipe. I can't wait to eat it because this is one of my favorites. Grilled vegetables just make everything taste good. And maybe you're a person who doesn't like vegetables a lot. This is a great way to grill them to get the vegetables in your diet. And uh, we will be at the Mother Earth News Fair in Vermont next month, which is in June. So check out all the links below. And um, we will look forward to seeing you guys if you're out, you know, in Vermont. And all the other Mother Earth News Fairs we will be at all over the United States. So, you know, you can check that out too. But um, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will look forward to seeing you guys later. Check us out um, when you're doing the Instagram or if you're doing Facebook or anything. Put some pictures. Maybe make some of these dishes and let, let me see what you guys came up with. All right? So this is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Stacy, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.